Hello, hello, Nikki Singh here. How is everybody? So, do you find yourself feeling overwhelmed quite often? Um, so, I just wanted to share some tips with you about how to deal with the feeling of being overwhelmed. Um, overwhelmed normally leads to us giving up or quitting on ourselves or our dreams or whatever we're going after. Um, a lot of times when we're overwhelmed, we there's just too much. It becomes stressful and we just back away from it. So how can we change this? Um, first off, overwhelmed is a choice. It's not a requirement. It's a choice that we make. Um, we choose to get this feeling of overwhelmed and let it control us. Um, instead of trying to look at overwhelmed as a good thing. Um, and I want you to think about like, so we become overwhelmed and we quit whatever we're going after. Um, what is that costing you? What is the feeling of being overwhelmed costing you? Um, a lot of times it's causing you stress, so it could be costing you, you know, a lot of different things, um, you know, and we become overwhelmed in many different situations in our life. We become overwhelmed through parenting, through, I mean, this whole last year has been quite overwhelming for the majority of us. Um, you know, there's a lot of times we become overwhelmed because of social media and what others are putting out there. Our job could be overwhelming. Um, you know, maybe losing weight's overwhelming. There's all kinds of things where overwhelming takes place. But overwhelming is a choice. And we should step back sometimes and look at being overwhelmed as a good thing. Um it is normally um, overwhelmed um, is because we have to learn to do something new, such as this last year we've lived in. We've had to learn to live in a whole new world and take things very differently. Um, so overwhelming equals learning new things, which when we learn new things, change happens, results happen, we grow. So sometimes overwhelming can be a good thing because we're learning new things and we're growing from that and that equals results. Um, if you're looking at it from a standpoint of becoming healthier, um, it could be pretty overwhelming starting, you know, to become healthier, to lose weight. You look at all this and you're like, how am I going to do this? Um, instead, like we learn how to re eat, we learn how to work out, we learn how to be disciplined, to drink more water, which equals the results that we want. So overwhelming can be a good thing. But um, there are ways to deal with overwhelming. So I'm just going to share a few with you. Um, it deals with time. Normally, overwhelming comes from putting a time frame on whatever we're trying to complete. So if it's been the last year and this coronavirus, um, the time frame was, when is it going to be over? Um, you know, we went from lockdown to lockdown or whatever you want to call them. So, oh, it's over this month. And, it, it, and we get overwhelmed. So what happens is if it's you wake up and you got this big to-do list and it's so overwhelming, how am I going to get this all done in the day or... Being a homeschool mom, looking at my kids' schedule every day, it was very overwhelming in the beginning, thinking, how are we going to do all this? How am I going to teach two separate grades in these big lists every day, math, reading, science, history, all of this? And I'm looking at it like, how am I going to do this? This is overwhelming, this whole homeschooling thing. Instead, um, I'm putting this time frame. I don't have to get this all done today. I can break it down into smaller chunks. Um, it's not like regular school where it's got to be done by three o'clock and we're out of here. No, if we got stuff to do, it can go on to six o'clock at night. Um, you know, just like a health goal. We put this time frame. Oh, I got to lose this much weight and this amount of time. No, you don't. It will come. 
and you're going to learn how to get there. It's going to equal the results. So one thing, if you have this big to-do list and you have seven things, cut it back to five things. That makes it a lot more doable. So quit putting these time frames on this overwhelm. Focus on one thing. If it's a health goal, focus on one thing and how you're going to achieve that tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to go for a 10 minute walk when I get off of work or before work. That's it. That's all you need to focus on and focus on that tomorrow and then slowly start adding things. But, um, you know, we take baby steps and cut back, pick one thing to focus on and take action on that one thing and figure out how you're going to do it. Um, you know, I see all the time and I, I was blessed that I was a school teacher before, but let me tell you, it's very overwhelming teaching your own kids. I'd rather teach all your children than my two. It's different when it's your kids. Um, it's, I'm not going to say it's easy being a teacher. It's not easy, but it's easier teaching your children than it's teaching my own children. So this whole homeschooling thing was very overwhelming in the beginning. And I had to just kind of step back and be like, okay, this is what we have to get done. And the rest will figure it out somehow. But cutting back and then figuring out how to work the schedule. Um, because there's only so much you have to do and the other can, I'm not telling you to let it go to the side, but you can plug it in later. You can pick it up after dinner if it's a science lesson or something, it, but do what's important first and then fill in the gaps um, and quit putting such rigorous time frames on certain things because that's when it becomes overwhelming. Just think about like when you were in school or in college and you had, I was the procrastinator, so you had this report due tomorrow. Yes, I waited till the last minute. Yes, that was me. I worked good under pressure, but I overwhelmed myself um, instead of breaking it down and doing it in this thing. I did it in this little time frame. I've set this this, I set this time on me. Oh, it's got to be done instead of breaking it out. So we cause overwhelm and overwhelm is normally a choice. So quit putting the time frames and, you know, look at overwhelming as you're learning something and it's equaling change and learning something is always good. So I hope that helps. Um, and I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. Um, we went over more of this inside our private group. Um, I'm just sharing a little bit. Um, and overwhelming also goes back to self-sabotaging. And when we feel overwhelmed, we self-sabotage ourselves and we quit. So today we focus more on self-sabotaging and things like that. Because in order for you to change on the outside and where we may all be looking for this, we have to learn to dig deep into our roots and change on the inside, our beliefs, and change our beliefs and our thinking. So if um, you'd like some more on this, um, you know, head over to my group or comment below and I'll get you the link and you can join in on this. Even though we're on day three, we do this all the time, um, different challenges like this. It's always there for you and don't feel like you'd be three days behind because there's no excuse. That's not an excuse. Oh, I'm behind. I'm behind. No, you're not. You're exactly where you need to be in your journey or whatever you're doing. So never feel like you're behind. You are where you belong and where you're supposed to be. On that, have a good night.